Hi, this is Joy with Obsessed with Scrapbooking, and today we're making this fun congrats swing card using the new Close to My Heart Artfully Sent Cricut cartridge. Here's the cut I used. I cut it at 7 inches, which conveniently the handbook tells me to do, so nice and easy, you guys. And I'm going to go ahead and first thing is to score the card. Now I'm going to score the card at 5 inches and also at 2 and a half. There are little itty bitty tick marks that tell me where to score the card, but they're very, very small, and so you need to get your reading glasses out or just take my advice and score it five inches and two and a half. There you go. Um, I guess I'm picking out some little pieces that didn't cut all the way out with that, um, with one of the flowers. But in any case, here we go. Now, something to know when you make these swing cards is choose your paper very carefully. You want to make sure that you have paper that has a nice contrast between the front and the back sides so that people are able to see the swing part. So as you see here, that pink is quite a contrast to the flowery side. The second thing is, when you go to cut this out, see I wanted the flowery side to show. So I laid the flowery side up on the mat when I cut it out. Now, when I go to make the card, I go ahead and I fold the flowery sides together as you just saw. And then when I fold back this piece, then that's what you see. So whatever piece you want to, you know, whatever side you want to see, you want to make sure to fold those pieces together and then flip that part back. Flip that little, you know, two and a half inch piece that has the cutouts on it. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> now, to back the congrats part, I just had um, a spare piece from that flowery paper to put behind it that's pink. Now the pink paper is distressed. Something to notice, which I didn't catch on to for a while here, you'll see, is I thought, oh, okay, this will be easy. I'll just hold that up there. I'll cut off the excess. I'll tape it down. Zip, zip, I'm done, right? Okay. Well, guess what? Since it's distressed, there were these white marks in where you could see through the congrats and it didn't look good at all. Like it looked like it didn't cut right or there was like a little hanging chat or something. So um, here's I'm poking out one of those little hanging chats. Um, so that, I didn't like that at all. So I had to start maneuvering the paper a little bit and um, wiggling it. And as you can see, this is actually filmed in real time. I did not speed this up or cut this out. So really this is a super fast card to make you guys. Um, although I seem to be moving at a glacial speed. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. In any case, I started angling it and taking a look and turning it over and whatever else like you need to do. And in the perfect world, I would have had some Scotch normal gift tape to put on the back because that's so much easier than, the, than using the ATG gun here like I am. But of course, I couldn't find it and so we press on. Oh, uh, life's tough, right? <laughs> you got to press on. So next thing, I just need to stick this down. Now I cut a little flag, and you can see it off to the right there, out of the pink. And again, it looks horrible because it's got that crazy distressed on it, distressed white on it. So I played around with that a little bit, and you'll see the fate of that <laughs> shortly. But I wanted to add something to the inside, but... Mm, was tricky. And the other thing is if you start adding stuff to the inside, you have to make sure you can't see it through those little flowery pieces. Here I just took some adhesive backed rhinestones. I think I got these at Michael's. And I just stick them down in the center of the flowers just to give them a little interest to the card. Dress it up a little bit. Nothing too fancy. But there you go. And then um, I seem to be doing it quite slowly. So now you guys see how much uh, faster it goes when you speed up the video. Anyway, and I thought, well, now you can see the flag part, and I, mm, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, I thought I also would put some rhinestones that I had from close to my heart that kind of make a little, a little curly shape, and they're small, and you'll see them in a second, and you can see them at the beginning of the video. And I'm just going to stick them off. They're pre-adhesive. Just going to stick them off the edge of the congrats. So pretty easy, pretty fast. And that is about it, you guys. Of course, you have to wait to see the fate of that uh, flag piece. So I open this up and I take a look and I go, oh, that looks horrible. <laughs> yes, it's distressed, right? Looks bad. So I'm just going to peel that up and keeping it real here with you guys. And that is it. So I appreciate you all watching. And coming up is information about this Artfully Sent Cricut Cartridge Bundle and where to get it. So let's take a look. 
The cartridge it comes is full size with an overlay, two books including one for assembly, and the large size box. It also includes these three stamp sets which are valued at $60 and it will also come with 24 sheets of 12 by 12 white paper by cardstock so you can get cutting right away. And here's another little close-up of what you get in the package, except for the cardstock, because that doesn't photo well. And you can get it here at my site. I appreciate you guys watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Sorry for my voice. Still have the flu. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.